we need to have a heart to heart here. Here's why your SMMA sucks. This might not be the advice you want to hear, but might actually get you to your goals this year. After coaching over a thousand agency owners and hitting major milestones in our business, like 100K months, I've seen a lot and personally been through it myself. It wasn't that long ago that I was stuck in a cubicle under fluorescent lights, painfully counting the hours each and every day so I could escape my nine to five job. And I was really just plotting on how to start a social media marketing agency. And I was really stumbling my way through starting an SMMA. This was my way out. This is what enabled me to walk into my office, look my manager in the eye, and put in my two-week notice. The good thing is, no matter where you're at, if you're just starting out or you're struggling to get that massive growth that seems like everybody else is hitting online, if you watch this video and take an honest look at your skill set as an owner-operator, I promise you, in just a few weeks, you're going to see a massive change in your business. Now, you might be tempted to click away because it's difficult to look in the mirror. I get it. It's hard to look at your weaknesses but this is for the ones that have had enough. If you're tired of seeing everybody else get wins and it feels like every time that you get one, you actually take two steps back in the process. Listen up, let's work together and make some serious cash. Let's be real, most SMMAs suck because your sales are shit, your SMMA service delivery is shit, and your client's experience is shit. Let me explain. Sales is by far the most important skill set you can have if you're gonna start any kind of business online. I don't care what it is, you have to be able to sell or have the resources to pay somebody else who's gonna sell for you. But Derek, I'm doing everything right. They keep saying my prices are too high and nobody is saying yes. Look, this isn't a pricing issue, this is a sales issue. I promise you, if you take the next month or two to strictly focus on learning new skill sets in the sales arena, doors will open up for you. And you don't have to be loud, extroverted or have this big personality to be successful in sales. Some of the most successful salespeople I've ever met have been introverted, but the one thing they did have in common is they had authenticity. Authenticity builds trust and that's ultimately what helps people say yes to you. Why? Because they trust you. They feel like you're being genuine, listening to them, and ultimately looking out for their best interests, not your own agenda. Now, if you wanna get good at sales, you need to be a student of the game. So add these three books to your reading list. This is gonna help you win the internal and external war, which is sales. Zero resistance selling, influence and spin selling. These are foundational sales books that really help my sales game. If you can't sell, you can't make money, period. Read these books over the next couple of weeks and you're going to start hearing more yeses, which is gonna help you get more money and more options in your life. Too many people just take life as it comes. Well, this job is safe, it pays me X, it is what it is. No, absolutely not. If you're like me, I think about these things a lot. When I was in a dark place, I didn't just accept that this is how life was going to be. I knew there was something better out there. I don't care what background you have, what level of education you have, who you know, if you can sell, you will have options in your life. Sales is the master key of success. It could really help you skip the corporate ladder that usually takes people years and years to achieve success. You can shortcut that process by having this skill set. I'll just stay in this job for 30 years and hopefully I can retire. No. Why waste all that precious time? There's a cheat code to this game and you can collapse time if you know the codes. And sales is that code. Now the second thing that stunts growth in SMMAs is service delivery. Many people think they can just sell a client and then turn over the fulfillment to some third party agency. And this is basically called outsourcing or white labeling. This fundamentally goes against what we teach at the SMMA Blueprint. First off, if you take the time to level up your skill set as a marketer, you're going to deliver better results for your client, you're going to be a better leader, and you'll be able to sell more because you'll actually know what you're talking about as an SMMA owner. Remember what I said about authenticity? Prospects can smell it. If you have no understanding of marketing, even at a fundamental level, you're not going to be able to close deals. Here's a few resources that can be another cheat code for your SMMA growth. Obviously, the SMMA blueprint. This is where you can learn to start, grow, and scale your agency. It's one of the top courses out there. I'm the co-founder of it as well as my partner, David Schlaes. Additionally, books like Dot Com Secrets, while a little bit older, are foundational books when it comes to marketing, funnels, ads, and is a great book for beginners. Also, the influence book that I recommended for sales is actually a really good marketing book. It's not just good for selling, it's really good for helping people take action in general. And that's really what marketing is. We're trying to attract a buyer and get them to take the next step or influence them. If you can learn this skill set, you will be a master at your craft. 
Mr. Wonderful from Shark Tank just came out in an interview recently and said, if you would have asked me this question 20 years ago, I would have said engineering is the most valuable skill set that I look for in employees or what I would recommend people to learn in getting into the workforce. But today, the highest paying skill set is somebody who can tell a story. Storytelling is at the root of marketing and sales. This is essentially the skill set of empathizing with people, influencing them, and getting them to take a desired action. The last thing that kills most agency owners is client experience. Once David and I invested over $10,000 in a coaching program and the number one golden nugget that we got from it is that you should be delivering a world-class experience for your clients. The client experience bleeds into everything you do as an SMMA. From that very first email you send to a prospect, the first conversation, when you send over the invoice or the contract, the experience they have on the first onboarding call, client communications, all of it, world class. Even if you're small, a nobody in the space, you can give a world class experience to your clients. It's just about making them feel heard, supported, and going above and beyond expectations. If you speak to a prospect and say, yeah, I'll have the contract to you by the end of the day, turn it around and have it to them by the end of the hour, always going beyond their expectations. There's a ton I can go into from a client and customer experience, but just think about when you've had a bad client experience. If you purchase something, when do you want it? You want it now, you want it yesterday, and you want it in the way that you expected to get it. The small things make all the difference here. I was getting a drink with a friend this weekend and they were raving about this pet company that they subscribed to. And the thing this pet company did to make my friend a lifelong customer was they sent a holiday card to him and his wife, but then they also addressed one separately to their dogs. A lot of businesses send holiday cards, insurance companies, dentists, but they addressed it to the dog's name. And that little thing took them from just going to Amazon or some other retailer and made them a lifelong customer. They really felt like they had a world-class experience. It's really, really simple. Just small things can make all the difference here. So other than sales, fulfillment, and client experience, let me know, is there any other bottlenecks that you're experiencing with your social media marketing agency? And if you're looking to find some niches that will help blow up your SMMA this year, check out this video where I've outlined the top untapped niches for SMMA. I'll see you over there.